Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a new day. It is Sunday afternoon, uh, November 3rd now. And I uh, hope everybody remembered to change their time. So, I am starting a new uh, Eat at Home challenge. So, this is going to be a 30 day challenge. Uh, cooking all our meals at home. Uh, breakfast, lunch, supper dessert whatever it may be so 30 days of eating it doesn't mean we're not going to go grocery shopping to replenish what we're uh, using because last time I named it eat what you have uh, people are under the assumption you should just eat everything you have and not replenish along the way uh, that just doesn't make sense so <laughs> um, yeah we were eating what we have but we don't want to run dry of food either so I'll just call it cook at home or eat at home eat eat at home 30 day challenge so it's already in the works so I started yesterday which would have been the 2nd of November and I started with supper and then I did lunch today and we'll go from there so sometimes we'll eat breakfast sometimes we won't depends you know what we're in the mood for I guess but every meal we make for the or eat for the next 30 days will be made at home and I'm doing that right now because my birthday is in the middle of December and we'll most likely eat get something out some takeout or something um, I know with Veterans Day coming up normally uh, Texas Roadhouse gives out a free meal voucher to veterans so I normally go get that and save it for my birthday so that way I would get a free meal and oh, I think they've had it I think we've done it where because it's only for one free meal and I think we've had their <laughs> I don't mind that gypsies drinking water and uh so I think we've done it in the past where we split a meal because their hamburgers are really big and so I think we went ahead and split a meal one year and uh, so so on my birthday we'll probably get takeout from Texas Roadhouse if they're doing it again and uh, so that's why I want to do the challenge now so we can go a full 30 days with the challenge and then that way when it's my birthday I can eat out without breaking the challenge so <laughs> um, yeah uh, so some videos to come uh, coming up to show you uh, as you can see I have a countertop full of food yes I am reorganizing my food pantries and so that'll be a video coming up to show you my food pantries and uh, show you what we have in our chest freezer as I mentioned in one other video I did bring the chest freezer in the house and it is so nice to have it in the house I love having that thing in the house because if I have a bunch of food to take out or put in the chest freezer it's right here already so <laughs> and the only other thing I actually want to do to the kitchen well a lot to do to the kitchen but um, still bring up the washer I'm just not sure right now because of floor space so I don't want to unnecessarily take up floor space if I don't have to right now not until I'm completely where I want to be in the kitchen all right but I do have the chest freezer out and that's probably the better of the two the washer or the chest freezer so I definitely love having that in the house and I'll do a video where we go through the chest freezer so you can see what we have in there uh, show you the food pantries and uh, yeah so things like that and then of course with the eat at home challenge or cook at home challenge I'll have videos along the way I'm not gonna wait till the end of the 30 days to show all the meals I'll do it in increments like uh, either three days or so show all the meals we had for three days and then so that way you could see along the way what we're cooking um yeah so I'm not sure what else we're at a 
So all of the home repairs are done now. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned that, but the gutter guards were put on. And this coming up week, they're going to come and do the final inspection to prove everything. So, so yeah, that's uh, coming along. And, uh, well, we got Thanksgiving and Christmas season coming up. Or we're already officially into it because Halloween's over now. So I still need to take down my Halloween stuff, put up some more fall stuff. Uh, as I said, I still want to keep it fall until about a week before Thanksgiving, and then I'll throw Christmas stuff up. But uh, but I think that's it right now. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so I'll turn around, and you can see all the food we have here. And then you could see the mess I got going on the pantry, the open shelves. So let me turn around that. Oh, let me turn around. Uh, I'll show, show you in here. In here. I do have some canned goods in there already. So I'm in the process. Everything is everywhere. So I'm in the process of organizing it all. And uh, I just really want to get it done because I'm tired of looking at it. All right. So let me turn the camera around. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, my Etsy shop is open now, so feel free to, I'll leave the link to the shop in the description below. And what I have for sale on there so far are the stickers I've shown you. Um, so I'll be adding more stuff, and I'll also be adding digital items for sale. That means you purchase it, and there's no physical item to ship. You can download it right away and use it for whatever you want to. As in, uh, let's say, the clip art uh, images I'm uh, using to make my stickers. I'll get bundles of those and sell them as digital downloads. And then you can just purchase the digital downloads and print out those and use them for whatever you want to make with it, any craft you want to make with it. And I'll also put some of my... Uh, my photography um, for sale in a digital download that means you can print them out and um, as many times as you want or as big or as small as you want so um, I'll put those up for sale as well along with some other stuff so um, I'll be adding address labels soon magnets as I said uh, round stickers you could use for like um, envelope seals like Merry Christmas with images on them and things like that so I've got a lot going on right now uh, between um, trying to organize my kitchen and trying to uh, get videos up for the seasonal ambience channel uh, by the way I uploaded a bird cam video up there this morning that video was taken last year Halloween Halloween of 2023, uh, we had our first snow, and so that's where that video is coming from. It's like a three hour long video, so if you haven't checked out that channel, go ahead and subscribe. Um, um, besides that video, I'm working on some other ones, um, so like fall camping, um, ambience videos, I'm going to do one with like the sound of thunder and things like that, so... And then I got Christmas ones to get ready to go to. So between ramping up the Etsy shop, doing the ambience videos, doing these videos, doing the challenge, organizing the kitchen, redecorating for the seasons, uh, a lot going on right now. So, all right. Now let me turn it around. <laughs> All right, everyone, so here on the countertop, uh, full of food from the open shelf pantry that I set up a couple years ago. So again, um, we have a lot of this food from the food pantry. So just because we are not going to the food pantry right now does not mean we don't have stuff left from the food pantry to use in our meals. So some of these items are of a lot of these items actually are food pantry items so we're incorporating those into our meals as in the mac and cheese we had for lunch today was from the food pantry and also using the food that we were blessed with in the Walmart friend mail uh, grocery haul so using up that food uh, so you can also see where that food goes and how it's used so uh, yeah 
so there's that <laughs> and I'll show you what the top of the chest freezer looks like all right everyone so I have to do the vertical mode on this so you can kind of see everything I suppose I can do each shelf separate but for now I'll do this um, I haven't done the whole pantry yet I've got Tupperware and stuff down there and the sides here to clean up still but I did all the canned goods here um, as you can see this is uh, something I got from Timu and uh, this was like uh, one of my first orders from Timu but I have a lot of the utensils hanging here but let me show you the shelves and my logic in how I have it <laughs> alright so all these canned goods used to be in the cupboard so now I moved them to the pantry here. Uh, so how I did it was this shelf is vegetables. This is like cream of chickens, mushrooms, broths, uh, soups, and uh, you know tomato type stuff and like Mexican mixings and things like that. Uh, this shelf here is like beans, different beans, uh, soups like cup of noodles, ramen, and back there is some soups. Uh, this is more for like baking or fruit, canned fruits, uh, pumpkin, things like that. Right now this is the fur baby treats and stuff right now until I get another place for them. So that's all I've got done so far. So like this row is all corn. And then the bottom here is green beans. The top here will be peas. And the reason I have some of the cans set back that tells me I have no backup stock so whatever is on here is all that there is so but being that this row is all corn I have one up there and then the peas are set back so whatever cans of peas are up here that's all I have and I think there's only like three or four cans back there and then this row is like mixed vegetables and on top I have one can of lima beans and the others if I fill it with like if I get wax beans or things like that and then I got canned carrots and canned potatoes up there uh, these are really small cans of kraut so I'll fit those in here uh, sometimes Glenn has hot dogs with sauerkraut on them this row would be cream of mushrooms and cream of chicken chicken on bottom cream of mushroom on top this is broths chicken noodle soups and tomato soups on top uh, all these all the way to the back are hot Rotel tomatoes I don't use a lot of uh, canned tomatoes but when I do it's hot Rotel for Glenn and then like miscellaneous small cans of jalapenos and enchilada sauce and then this is El Pato sauce and then a couple cans of like uh, tomato sauce and paste and then down here I have beans uh, this row to the back on the bottom is all pork and beans on top is like Hormel chili with no beans one has beans is hot with beans the rest are no beans these two are refried beans um, because no 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 the bottom is all refried I just put this one on top here because I know I use a lot of beans and I'll take that one first but the back is some chili beans and then as you see I got the ramen cup of noodles and things like that so that's what I have so far um, the Tupperware down here is going to get reorganized and go up in the cupboard and let me show you what I got in the cupboard so far alright so all the canned goods used to be on these two shelves so I emptied them off and they're in the pantry now um, so what I put here is all the stuff that was on the very bottom shelf of the open shelf pantry and I could never find anything so I put it up here uh, it's no specific well a little bit of organization but so I got my uh, sprays these are condiment like Miracle Whip ketchup in the back mustard these are so uh, cocktail sauce these are seasonings uh, salt things like that lemon juice these are like uh, barbecue sauce, buffalo wing sauce, teriyaki sauces, uh, lip thins, onion mix, um, just like the banana peppers. These are like uh, my backup stocks. Uh, Glenn's 
hot sauce. He, this is his favorite, Mexico Lindo. He's got three bottles left of that, and there's some other hot sauces. One Taco Bell hot sauce. Here is like jellies, and this this is like ice cream toppings. Uh, there's some chocolates and butterscotch, I think that is, or caramel, and some stuff we could sprinkle on our ice cream. Those were uh, sent to us in friend mail. And then on the the very top is all cups. And I, I'll just leave those there because we don't use them. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave them there for now. Uh, but the middle shelf would be all the Tupperware and food storage and things like that. So now you've seen everything. <laughs> all right. All right. So there is the chest freezer. And right now I have all our pastas on here. And trying to reorganize them back onto the open shelf pantry. So normally this chest freezer, nothing is on top of it because I don't want to load stuff on top of it and then every time I need to go in the freezer I have to take everything off. So this freezer, the top stays clear. Um, except the cats once in a while like to lay on top of the <laughs> freezer. If I'm doing stuff in the kitchen, they'll come in there and lay on top of the freezer. Uh, so yeah. Alright, so that's about all I'm going to show you right now. I just wanted to do a quick update. I know I haven't uploaded a video in a couple days, so I wanted to give you a heads up of what's to come. And uh, so I will see you guys in the next video. So thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video. I appreciate all of you and the support you continue to give my channel. And with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.